I'm always kind of taken back when I think of the fact that in all 193 episodes of the 87 TMNT show, we never once got a Christmas special. So, I guess that's why in 1994 we got We Wish You a Turtle Christmas to fill that void. We wish you a turtle's Christmas. We wish you a turtle's Christmas. We wish you a turtle's Christmas. And a happy new year. Oh, I'm so distressed that this was made. I can't believe that there's bad things with the TMNT name on it. It's such a shock. Anyway, let's look at this enjoyably silly TMNT holiday special. Live and in person is something you could say about the concert turtles, but not so much these ones at all. They're the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, as you've never seen them before. And probably how you'll wish you'd never seen them. So this wondrous piece of Ninja Turtles holiday cheer can mostly be blamed on Christopher films as they very prominently let you know this original story came from them. And believe me, there's just such a deep story to We Wish You a Turtle Christmas as I'm sure most of you are aware. You might know Christopher Films from the other crappy TMNT musical VHS, Turtle Tunes. You know, there's at least more of an excuse for this crappy TMNT Christmas video to exist than this crappy TMNT dicking around a park video. The great Christopher films apparently went into hiding for 12 years after their two Turtles videos and in 2006 had their great comeback with some documentary about a French antique dealer. Did that go on for like 12 years or what? Well, if IMDB is to be believed on that, I'm not very convinced that that documentary is made by the same Christopher Films. It's hard to find much on Christopher Films or how they really got involved with making these two TMNT videos. The costumes in these two musical videos look a bit like downgrades of the first version of the Concert Turtle costumes without the Rockstar gear. The heads are definitely different though, however, that Splinter costume is the exact same one from coming out of their shells in the Mystery of the Cliffs. You can see in the credits that the costumes were by Controlled Entropy, which is one of the companies Bob Bijan was a part of and of course was involved with the TMNT concerts. I'm guessing though these turtles' heads were made to be a bit more simplistic and easier to control. The original concert heads did look a bit better, but clearly there were some issues with the animatronics at times, resulting in some rather silly faces. But the turtles' Christmas versions are left with a very stiff open shot mouth movement. But what probably sticks out the most to me is the flat out incomplete nature of these outfits. They don't have the feet for them at all. It just looks like black socks in their feet and they didn't even pad them out anymore to make it look like the mutant turtle's feet are actually in there. I mean jeez, the sneakers on the second version of the concert turtles looked better than this. The fact the turtles look so crappy and well everything else about it is why I'm sure this special has never seen release past VHS. Well, except for this Russian bootleg DVD of it. Yup, this seriously exists. I really don't know why anyone in the world would bother bootlegging this, but it happened. It's got coming out of their shells and Turtle Christmas on it. Oh, and the commentary section is just a joke text commentary clearly ripped off of YouTube. I should also mention that this version of the Turtles costumes appeared in a Spanish fashion magazine where Raph and Donatello actually had their weapons, which of course we won't be seeing in Turtle Christmas. The poor model that had to pose alongside these freaks just had a golf club. Freak! Freak! Damn! I guess just black socks wouldn't cut it for this magazine though, as they actually gave the turtles feet with sandals for some reason, but still much better than 
nothing. We also see Raph sporting the hat and trench coat disguise on one of these pages, which is more effort than they put in the special to disguise themselves when they're on the streets, which is to say they put zero effort in. And speaking of lack of effort and cheap, we only had two people voicing the Turtles and Splinter in this special. Eric Anzalone voices Raphael, Donatello, and Splinter. Eric Anzalone is best known for being the second biker in the village people. Just kidding. I'm sure people think of Turtles Christmas first. Eric Anzalone probably got involved with these because he was also Donatello in the Coming Out of Their Shells tour. Now, Eric Anzalone does an alright job making distinct voices for Raph, Donatello, and Splinter. Five o'clock on Christmas Eve and all our shopping is done! That was last year! What are you talking about? But Eric Anzalone's Raph does end up sounding pretty similar to Alfredo Miller's Leonardo and Michelangelo a bit too. All I want to know is what you got for us. You got the wrong turtle, man. I got presents for the kids. Like, Splinter was not on my list. Alfredo Miller was also involved with the Coming Out of Their Shells tour as one of the foot soldiers. Um, maybe that one. I don't know. It's kind of sad they didn't get four different voices for the Turtles and that they all end up kind of having Brooklyn accents. Join the green team in We Wish You a Turtle Christmas, featuring hip hits that include Rap Rap. No one has ever thought of the Rap Rap as a hip hit. It's like our favorite music video from us to you. Take them home for just $12.98 each. That's probably about 12 bucks too much. Anyway, I should wrap wrap this intro part of the video up and get on to the actual content of We Wish You Eternal Christmas. Did that go on for like 12 years or what? To give this thing a little bit of credit, I will say that the intro bit here is a rather wonderful piece of 90s-ness. Unfortunately, after the bits with real turtles, the horrid costumes show up singing the first song on here, We're the Turtles. Oh, the one from Coming Out of Their Shells? I have to admit, I do rather enjoy that song. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, of course. It's not the same song. This is the vaguely threatening Where the Turtles song. We're up and tough, good looking too. Whoever told you that is a liar. I do like some of the music video style lighting and stuff they have going on during this opening song. Unfortunately, it's the most effort in the whole video, so it's all downhill from here. Hey, kids, what do you think? Do we need more lights? Take the holes with pepperoni. Yeah, don't give us any real intro or anything or set up any kind of plot. Just jump right into another song. Santa Claus will bring his reindeer. I know this might be a silly question, but why are the Ninja Turtles Jamaican for this song? A school with all the joy Ah, yes, I suppose I hadn't considered a scoodly doodly dweet drew. That explains a lot. Man, I don't need to see that much of Michelangelo's gums. Why are these turtles so monstrous? Trim the tree with Donatello. Is Donatello up for that? I kind of doubt it. Where's my present? I'm not telling. So what I'm getting from this song is Leonardo's an asshole. No bebop and no rock standy. Because there's no way in hell we could afford that. A scootly doodly doodly do. So you know how I kind of compliment the opening for having some neat lighting and okay shots? Well, now it's just a bunch of awkward cuts around the same spot as the turtles bounce around this tree. We don't have enough set to move the camera to another position. A scootly doodly doodly do. Also, guys, I think it might be time for you to get a headband cut. They don't need to go all the way down your back. That might get in the way of battling a bit. I mean, if you fought anymore, I guess you just sing your way out of shit these days. Our master Splinter says that you can do more good with music than with any pair of nunchucks. Merry Christmas to the Shredder! Shredded! I guess.
guess? What? Oh. Ah, yes, it was Allison's video on We Wish You a Turtle Christmas that started my silly version of Shredder and got me to throw together this, um, spectacular version of his helmet. What? You can't explain me like that! It ruins the continuity! Yeah, gag sketches and video reviews with multiple characters played by one person need airtight continuity, don't they? For your insolence, I shall destroy Christmas! Merry Christmas to the Shredder! Wait, what? Really? This changes everything! I've fallen for that! Whatever it is for the last time! I hate you! Is Leo thinking of hanging himself for the holidays? All our shopping is done! Wait till you see what I got Wait. you! Totally awesome! Seriously, why is Leo such a shitter in this? I guess it's just that classic Donatello and Leonardo feud. Like Splinter was not on my list. Donnie was supposed to get a gift for Splinter. I'm so angry about this, I'm not even gonna stop moving my mouth well after I'm done talking. Uh, uh, uh. How did the turtles possibly forget Splinter? Who do they even have to get presents for to have such a huge list? Why are they including Vernon? Looks like you forgot to take the lens cap off, Mr. Star Reporter. <laughs> 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 Vernon is really important to us. I like that stupid father figure. Nobody got a gift for Splinter? I don't believe you guys. I don't believe this. Michelangelo makes sure to grab a scarf on the way out so he's disguised. Or, um, warm. Because, you know, that that's totally gonna cover him. Or maybe he put it on so people could tell him and rap apart better since sometimes their colors look a little similar, their voices are also similar in this, and they don't really have distinct personalities. We do get some of that wondrous sewer backlighting during this song. It's kind of like the X-Files forest with its constant floodlights. It's a light source that makes no sense. To buy a gift we go, wrap a yellow's away to Macy's, but hey, it's cold, here comes the snow. Well, the concert tour turtles made to the Macy's Thanksgiving parade, but not you guys. Oh, stores will be closing, it's really late. Well then hurry up and stop singing about it! Stores will be closing, it's really late. But we're gonna do circles in the sewer because Splendor doesn't mean shit to us. It's a beautiful night, it'll work out right, it's not my idea of fun. A sentiment shared around the world, cause I'm so angry! Grrr. Up on street level, we see the usual Christmas Eve sight of children forming a band with garbage cans and drums in the middle of New York. They must have some awesome parents, like the ones that let their little girl run around barefoot through New York in the real Ghostbusters Halloween special. Gotta get a gift, gotta get a gift, gotta get a gift, gotta get a gift, gotta get a gift for Splinter. If you guys really gave a shit, you'd have done this already. Oh, you see though, it makes sense all these kids were up here playing music because they knew the Teenage Tardy Turtles would need backing for their We Forgot to Buy a Present song. Gotta get a gift for Splinter, he's the last one on our list, he's the only one we missed, I hate Splinter. But hey, let's dance around with random rollerblading boys, Splinter can cram it with walnuts. Gotta get a gift, gotta get a gift. Don't look at our weird feet! Don't look at them! How about a set of golf clubs? Splinter's not athletic. Splinter taught them to be ninja team! Never mind, Splinter's not athletic anymore. He's a real stay-in-bed ninja master. I'm sure he taught them with a how-to ninja videotape. And why is Golf too athletic for him. Seriously, how lazy is Splinter? A bowling ball, some 
ice skates. Bowling is kind of on the same level as golf, but ice skating is way more athletic than golfing, Leonardo, you idiot. You guys are perfect. But then again, so is standing around singing about having a tight deadline to get a present. There are only two hours of shopping left before Christmas. Don't worry, I'm sure we can fit in plenty of dinking around with songs still. And now the turtles are just in the middle of the streets with no disguises at all. Guess they better not call attention to themselves. Oh no, he's turning into that opera guy again. Oh little city of New York. Ha <laughs> ha, remember that classic Michelangelo bit of turning into that opera guy? Whose buildings reach to the sky. Keep it down out there! It's Christmas, you asswipes! I've made a huge mistake. Wait, Will Arnett isn't Michelangelo. He's not Vernon Vern. Eh, <laughs> yeah, I still prefer watching We Wish You a Turtle Christmas compared to the 2014 film. If nothing else, it's shorter. Are we gonna finish our hip-hop Christmas album, bro? Hmm, I'll give them that line. Was that really worth it, Raph? You just ruined that Santa's life with this terrifying image just so you could go dingling for a couple of seconds. Really, though, what does this street Santa think of this? I mean, just some mutant turtles wander up on him and he just says nothing. <laughs> So you'd think this comedic bit with the alarms coming in and the turtles about to carry him off would be the end of Fakelangelo's opera, but then they just stop and he sings more because this is just too good to end yet. Hey guys, there's only one hour of shopping left. You guys wasted an hour on that garbage? How? We don't have a gift for Splinter. I'm trying to get him a skateboard. You dipshits don't even know who Splinter is, do you? I hate Splinter. So I guess this weird void of blankets with Christmas lights on them is the late night store and the big dilemma of getting Splinter a gift is solved. Yeah, sneakers. Yeah, sneakers, indeed. Take this, dude. I'm undercover, yeah. man. Oh, yeah. I'm sure Splinter will love some TMNT comics. I'm just a comic book character. I never existed. Well, time to go haunt Arizona, I guess. I do my best when I'm wrapping my gifts. I take a lot of pride when I put the gift inside of the wrap wrap. Rap rap. I used to enjoy the rap rap until rap rap was ruined for me forever by that horrible Ghostbusters 2 joke book and its never ending rap rap jokes. What am I saying? I've always hated the rap rap. Come on, say it again, y'all. The rap rap. Rap rap. I love the rap rap. Aw, yeah! The rap rap is another rather lazily shot song of them just on the sewer set, not really moving the camera around at all. But hey, at least it's got that green light behind them. My sons, please gather around. Who the hell is that? How did they find our lair? On the first day of Christmas, the turtles gave to me a pizza with pepperoni. Really seems like that's another gift for themselves, though figuring out why the pizza is framed is a mystery that's never been solved. Maybe a framed pizza was another one of the turtle's weird toppings. Has anyone tried eating a framed pizza yet? Three skateboards, two comic books, and a pizza with pepperoni. Yeah, I tell you, the great thing about this song is being driven mad hearing the same thing over and over. Love it. On the fourth day of Christmas, the turtles gave to me four manhole covers. That's a safety hazard, turtles. You can't just go around stealing manhole covers. 
What the hell is Splinter gonna do with a bunch of manhole covers anyway? Well, I'm certainly not going to lift them because I'm not athletic! Though apparently these manhole covers weigh nothing. On the fifth day of Christmas, the turtles gave to me five video games. Another gift clearly for them, and we didn't have any to show. On the seventh day of Christmas, the turtles gave to me seven sukumonos. Well, that's at least one gift out of all this trash that maybe Splinter would actually enjoy, but it's another phantom gift, so I guess he doesn't even really get that. On the tenth day of Christmas, the turtles gave to me ten yellow yo-yos. Wants 10 yo yo's? Probably the same people that want repetitive songs that never shut the hell up! Raph apparently has had enough of all this and just decides to get trashed. On the 12th day of Christmas, the turtles gave to me 12 April O'Neill autographs. Oh, I'll never catch up now. Wow, autographs from someone he knows personally. Couldn't get her to show up though, that would have cost too much. Can I go home yet? My sons, you are generous in spirit. Because there's not a ghost of a chance I want any of this bullshit you bought me. Being with those who you love and thinking of those less fortunate than you. Uh... Does anybody like want a pizza? Screw you and your cinnamon, old man. I'm hungry. I hate splinter. Yeah, and no anchovies. But ah, oh, remember when Michelangelo did this in the movie, and it was way better than it is here. And I mean no anchovies. We wish you a turtle's Christmas. Holy crap, rap! Are we rap wrapping this thing up already? Guess it's true what they say, time really does fly when you're tortured by Turtles Christmas songs. We wish you a Turtles Christmas and a Happy New Year. Who are all these stupid kids? Just ones that fell into the sewers because of all the manhole covers the turtles stole? Guess they won't be home for Christmas. Speaking of that, we sure could use a song about being home for Christmas, right Shredder? I'll be... Oh, never mind. Alright, I get amusement out of this Turtles holiday special, but you can really feel the lack of budget on this one, and also lack of story. I mean, it's just, we gotta get a gift for Splinter, and then they very easily solve that and have a bunch of garbage to give him. The end. Couldn't Christopher Films get the Shredder costume from the concerts? I mean, I know that's not a great Shredder costume, but still, that would have given them some kind of conflict in this besides just yelling at each other. Also, a lot of the mouth movements were off. Did you know that? Hey, whose idea was it to come up with that totally gnarly Jamaican stuff? You Who know? do you think the stuff was? It was my stuff, man! Come on! Ah, nice. They're still fighting with each other over the credits. But here comes my favorite part of this whole thing. How about that 12 days, though, man? Did that go on for, like, 12 years or what? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? I could have sung Skipping Stones! Which, actually, might have been an improvement. Hmm. Ho ho ho! Merry Shredmas! I hate music! I think it's the worst! Which is why everyone's going to find We Wish You Eternal Christmas in their stocking this year! Oh me oh my! Merry Christmas to the Shredder Claws! You always take things too far! I hate you! Well, I wish you all a turtle Christmas, I guess. And, um, a uh, Shredder Claws holiday? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hey,
was eight years ago. Get out of my window. I don't know who the devil that weirdo in the window was, but know this. I'll be home for Christmas, Krang. I don't give a shit where you are for Christmas, Sucky. You know, you can turn it off sometimes, Krang. Try being genuine for once. I'm sorry. I never knew you felt that way.